Hello everyone, I'd like to share with you a few trades posted on Friday, 24th of March 2023. Uh, these trades were shared by MG, who's trading Dow Jones Industrial Average in form of CFD using a Forex broker. We can see that on the macro one hour chart, we are in downtrend, but we reached an area of the support that is getting rejected. And we can see that as a upturn channel in five minute structural chart. So using the trading chart of one minute, he used that to identify the entry and exit points here, uh, entered long position and close with exit strategy number one. And when the price reached the resistance area and it started to go down, he took a short positions. And we can see the result of this short and long uh, trades of the day, which was closed with profit. So thank you very much, MG, for sharing your trades with us. The next few trades are those I have taken at the beginning of New York market session and the video with explanation was sent to students the same day. So I'm going to replay the video here for you. Hello everyone. I like to share with you a few trades that I have taken at the beginning of New York market session on Friday, 24th of March. The market on the macro chart shows that it had a pullback here. It's kind of range bound now and it was retesting in the last few days, the level that was around 12,713,000 12 on NASDAQ. So now that the market seems is in a very tight range and volatile, uh, we have to be cautious trading these with the large shadows. So we recommend novice traders do not trade these markets uh, because it's very hard to find the pullbacks and take the trades. Anyway, when we look at the five minute chart and we see there was some news today that caused some volatility and the uh, uh, market is fluctuating around this point of control, around 12,800, as you see here. So during global session and after open of the market. And so what I did, uh, I took some short positions when the market opened and it started to go down and test the level that was around 12,740. And that was, I think, the value area low. And the price got rejected and went up. So during downward move of these five minute candles, as you see here, I took short positions. And when the market retested here, and the order flow confirmed that the buyers are back uh, with the price action algo trading and order flow. I took long positions on this channel that you see clearly. And the result of each of these charts uh, signals were copied by copy trader to multiple Apex Trader fund accounts. And we see the result. On average, we see profit factor that cannot be calculated and is shown as 99 because we had no losing trades and we had 100% win rate on the long side and on the short side. But we can see that average winning trades were about $75 in profit and the largest runner winning trade was $215. So I hope these trades taken by the PAD system with order for a confirmation is useful for you for the fastest scalping. And let us know if you have any questions have a wonderful day and also weekend.